Hi there. This is lesson two. The census, section 5.2, page 120 in your textbook. This is a very short section, so let's get started. By the way, you will need a notebook and a pen for this today. Well, always, but today especially. Okay, how many senses do we have? I see five. Let's see what we're talking about. Well, we have touch. This is touch. We have sight. Here we are. We have hearing, of course, the ear. Then taste, the tongue. Then we have smell, okay. So you think you have five? Well, you also have heat, because you can feel heat and warmth on your skin. We also have cold, same thing, you can feel that on your skin. Then pain, again, you can feel that on your skin, but you can also feel that inside of your body, for instance, inside your stomach. And balance, you can feel that inside your ear. We'll talk about that later. So, anything your body is sensitive to, that's all your senses. Okay, remember the last lesson. We talked about sense organs. Sense organs contain sensory receptors. And here we have five sense organs. The eye, the ear, the tongue, the nose. What's this? You guessed it. The skin. Okay, all of these contain special cells that pick up stimuli. Inside the sense organs are special cells that pick up the stimuli. Yes, I repeated that because what are those special cells called? They're special, those special cells are called, yes, sensory receptors. Good, you got that. We can continue. All right, for the next part, maybe it would be great if you exercise yourself by understanding the following. Okay, you can try this again later, but pick a piece of paper and a pen, copy this table, you know, pause the video, copy this table, and see if you can fill in this table, because that is going to be important for a future test. Okay, so we have sense, sense organ, and stimulus. And maybe you wonder what the difference is between a sense and a sense organ. If you translate this in Dutch, you don't get very much wiser. Sense means zintuig, and sense organ is zintuig orgaan. Now, stimulus you probably know. So, what is the sense, who hated zintuig, for the eye? Well, you might think, think it's seeing, but in biology we have a different word for that. It's called vision. Then for the ear, it's hearing, tongue, taste, nose, smell, and feeling for the skin. So it's your sense of vision, your sense of taste, your sense of smell. Okay, now the stimulus. What stimulus is necessary to activate the eye? Or in other words, what is the eye sensitive to? The eye is sensitive to light. The ear is sensitive to sound. The tongue to flavor. Okay, watch out for this. Flavor is smaak in het Nederlands. And taste is ook smaak in het Nederlands. Dus in het Nederlands, in Dutch, there are not different words. But in English, there are. So we have the sense of taste. And the stimulus is flavor. So flavor are chemicals in your food, in your drinks, that your tongue is sensitive to. Scent is chemicals in the air that your nose is sensitive to. So scent is a geurtje and smell is reuk. Zintuig reuk. Okay, skin is sensitive to a lot of different uh, things, as you can see. Touch, pressure, temperature, and pain. So, that skin is a big and important organ. 
Now, what do you think is pressure? Druk. What do I mean by that? Well, if you think of your arm and you have your sweater and you feel your sleeve on your skin, that's pressure. And if you think about your butt right now, yeah, I know it's funny. Anyway, if you think about your butt, it's touching the chair or whatever you're sitting on and you can feel your butt touching the chair. That's also called pressure. There we are. Okay, so remember sense organs, they contain cells that are called sensory receptors. And in the coming few videos, we'll talk about some of these sense organs and how they work. So this is already the end of our lesson. Now you have to do some questions in your workbook. On page 122, do assignments 4 till 8. Don't forget to make photos and upload it to Magister. And don't forget to subscribe to this video and to my video feed. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.